guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl may gaga i hope you're fantastic i hope you're doing awesome and i hope you got to enjoy yesterday's meditation uh they are very very beautiful meditations that we can all uh benefit from that we can all reflect from and yeah the book is again from the the, the latest edition 2024 for the cross the way of the cross meditations these are uh, the the prayers the meditations that we say to the days leading to easter and i hope yeah you you, you don't have to be a catholic you can just be an a christian you know we all we all serve jesus we are all ch god's children so i hope you're going to meditate with, with me as i meditate on them and we pray for god's revival god's strength god's love and everything in between so welcome and today we are on the second day of meditation the second day of meditation which is we are meditating on this is the first day was uh jesus is condemned jesus is condemned this second day we're going to read about jesus receives the cross so we are going to we are going to focus on every moment all these things that are in the bible we can always read them but for us we walk with jesus step by step and i yeah we can do it together we can share with jesus this moment knowing at the end of it all yeah we are going to celebrate with him we're going to but we're going to feel him we, let us walk with him hand by hand and just pour our hearts to him offer our sufferings to him offer our daily lives to him and just share hearts hearts together so the second station is jesus receives the cross and it says john 19 17 says then they took charge of jesus and carrying his own cross he went out to the place of the skull or as it was called in hebrews golgotha offering no resistance jesus gives himself up to the executioners and he is to be spared nothing and upon his shoulders falls the weight of the humiliating cross the meditation each one of us meets the cross at one point or another. It can be a layoff, a divorce, a car accident or cancer. And whether we experience a life altering circumstance such as this, we cannot escape much of life's more chronic trials. Strained relationship, relationships, high cost of living, the tedium of toil every day, the uncertainty whatever it is the cross awaits us not to punish or torture us but simply because ours is a broken world in need of redemption jesus willingly accepts the cross he received jesus takes it all and through his cross the world is redeemed likewise our crosses become openings for transformations challenges to embrace and opportunities of for healing in ways that go beyond our present circumstances so today which, whatever cross you're facing whatever whatever mountain whatever thing that is a burden to you i know it is hard to accept it i know it is hard to live in that moment i know it is hard to carry the cross but sometimes May we follow the example of Jesus whereby he accepted his cross he act accepted the will of God his father and knew even though i'm suffering right now there is hope at the end of the tunnel there is victory at the end of the tunnel well, you might not know when your victory will come you might not know how this will end up but Jesus is encouraging you today he's saying walk with me as you walk in your cross the way the same way i walked with my cross i'm going to give you victory and yes we don't know when the victory will come but let us rest in the knowledge that being the children of god being sharing an inheritance with him there is nothing that is impossible that this yokes 
these burdens are not ours but they belong to christ he says his yoke is easy so let us give him daily these crosses these hardships and let us have hope in christ let us have hope in in him because we know at the end of the day he redeemed the world and there is nothing there is no sin there is no death there is no hardship that that is irredeemable he actually came and redeemed everything and so we have hope he is our hope and at the end of the day at the end of life we are going to receive our crown so we are going to end it with our prayer and our prayer will be like this lord lord for you are all things possible remove this cross but only according to your will no matter what happens, help me to patiently accept what I must bear. Give me the courage to overcome what I can and grant me the wisdom to unite my suffering with that of Christ so that I may become the person you've called me to be. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that is it for today, Bakundas. I hope you like it. I hope, yeah, you be journey together and we look forward to celebrating Easter together and with Christ, knowing that everything, there is hope. There is hope in everything. I love you and see you in the next. Bye.